Hello guys, Tito Jo again. Welcome to my, not YouTube video, but just a video episode 2. Today, we're going to bring your attention to how to make keyboard playing sounding fun and effective and functioning. Now, come and have a look. Today, I am going to introduce to you some empowerment tools that I have prepared for you. Now, these are actually the chord charts, the chord charts for the left hand. And this is actually the piano notes reader for both right hand treble clef and bass clef for the left hand. So why is this so useful? And as seems, these are very powerful tools for you to actually kickstart on learning how to read the music from your keyboard booklet. Now, for starter, maybe I will just have to tell you about the simple melody and why is it called simple melody? Because it is straightforward. It is very simple to use and it's very simple to play with the help of all these empowerment tools. I can see the treble clef reading charts will help to uh, guide us to allocate our hands and position on the right position on the keyboard. For example, if you see the E here, all right, on the line, we will jolly well know that this E is located on the keyboard as shown as here. So this one we will put side by side on playing during playing time. Come and have a look at my hands. Simple melody begins with the E. And somehow in the E, I will adjust my tone to this. The E in the empowerment tools and also on the keyboards, you see here, the E with the th letter three, meaning we are using our finger number three on the right hand to begin playing on the melody, okay? So this is what it looks like on my hand when I play this. Again, this position is a grand C position. It's a C position. I'm resting each finger on each note. Make sure every finger is allocated and positioned on each key. Alright? And I determine the third note to be played on an E. So I'm actually sounding safe. This is the correct position for simple melody. Alright? Now, let alone say because in the simple melody there were some small letters on top. There's actually a chord symbols for the left hand. What is chord symbol? We know playing on the right hand, melody itself sounds beautiful but it can sound dry. You would like to harmony it or accompany it with the left hand chords. And with my chord charts empowerment tools, I have the leading chords in C major of chord C and G in this laminated chord charts. So what you can do is use this chord chart to locate on the keyboard. It's called C will look like C E G over here. This is called C. Chord G over here will look like the G chord over here. Or you can transfer to the G B D at the bottom. So C chord. Now, you'd like to pay attention to maybe on the jingle bells on page 19 as well. In page 19, okay, I've actually planned some of the very interesting key chords position in G. So this whole entire song is actually written in G position. Now, what about G position? Where does it look like and how would it sound like? And how would my empowerment tool on G major is going to help you to play the chords accordingly? So for G major, you will have G chords, G, B, D chords, and also D, F, A is a D chords. So these are the few chords that you'll be learning, as well as C chords over here, C, E, G. Alright, it's chord 1, chord 4, and chord 5 of G major. And how does it actually complement the simple melody on Jingle Bell songs? Can I play just the melody on your on the right hand? It will sound on the G position. Jingle bells, in this case, is written in G. So I will have to put my hand and position on G position. Alright, again, the music shows B, B, B with the letter names written on the scores. Alright, 
So in a way or other, it does help us to learn how to locate the note in a very simple manner. So I'm going to play just the melody. With the left hand, as is shown here, with a G chord, G chord, G chord, C slash G meaning is a C chord based on G. And you have a D7 on F sharp, I will show you what exactly. Or to be simple, we can keep it clean with this D chord, and so on and so forth. Now, I would like you to actually pay attention to a G chord, this is how it looks like on the GBD, okay? C chord on G, I use G as a bass, and C E on top. But you can actually just reshuffle by playing C, later on respond with the C chord. But I'd rather just keep it close by just moving two notes up. Let's form a C chord on G bass. Okay, back to C G chord. And this is a D7. F sharp C D. D7 on F sharp. Or to make it simple, you can change it to D chord. G chord. C on G. G chord. D7. Now, here it goes. It is... second video. Thank you everyone for viewing. Happy trying on Jingle Bells on G position and also Simple Melody on C position with the complimentary on rhythmic um, adding ons with rhythmic and also tempo adjustment and also recognizing your hand position on right hand with the complimentary of your left hand cards. Happy trying, happy exploring. Thank you everyone for viewing. Bye!